Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, the question is the next step of trigonometry. Okay, so look at here. We have a given four questions here. And what I said before, every time we will make, first of all, property of cast. So I taught is already C, A, S, T, cast. So C for cause, A for all, S for sine, and T for 10. These are for the positive values. These are for the only positive. We said not mention negative, definitely they are negative. So what is sign here? 10 is equal to 1. So here, if you see here, we have a plus 1. So 10 actually plus 1. So 10 is positive where? 10 here or here 10 positive and here 10 positive. So I'll make a line here and line here. Come on, second question. So sign is positive sign here. Sign is positive here and here. So first and second quadrant. So cos is negative sign, negative sign. So cos is positive first quadrant and fourth. And where is negative? Second and third. So I'll make a one line here, one line here. Now 10 is negative. You can see this negative sign. So 10 is negative where? 10 is negative in a positive in first and third and negative in second and fourth. So naturally I will make a line here and line here. I'm sure up till now you understood how to make the quadrants, how to make the lines. Now I am going to uh, do the rest part. So I'm rubbing this one now over. Let's start the uh, first of all, what is criteria? You make, uh, uh, okay, now you will take tan inverse there, tan will go there. And you will, uh, this angle for a while, you will skip and write just alpha here. Alpha is equal to tan inverse of one. Same story here, sine will go there. So alpha is equals to sine inverse of root two by two. Okay, same here, cos will go there and cos will go there and write alpha is equal to cos inverse and inside root three by two. But, but again, this minus you will not take here, make sure. Okay, again, alpha is equal to here and take tan inverse and write root three. Again, you will not take this minus sign here. That is why I am not taking X here. You can see here, I put alpha, 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 and alpha. So alpha is just a, and then a rough idea. This is called basic angle actually. It is called basic angle. Okay, so let's go for the other part. When you type in calculator, this will give you 45 degree. It will give you 45 degree as well. This will give you equal to 60 degree. Wait a minute, 30 degree. It will give you 60 degree. Okay, I take whole numbers to, to easy for me. But it, it, when you will solve it come in decimal even, no problem. And every angle one dp, you know, you've done all levels even. Every angle one dp, there's a rule. Okay, come back. Now, last step and final step. This angle you will write here and write here. But make sure line and x-axis. You will write line and x-axis. Line and x-axis. This angle you will write line and x-axis and even here. So line and x-axis. Write this angle between line and x-axis. So this 30, you will make where line and x axis and even here. So again, I'm writing this 30, line and x axis. Now this 60, you will write here and eat it here. By mistake, some student write here. No, no, this wrong writing, wrong. You will not use y axis. You will make it only x axis. So here and here. I think up till now, all of understanding. Last step and finally. Bring back this X here. Similarly, bring back this final X here. Okay, so now I'm writing X and I'm then write the final answer. Wait a minute, please. I need a little bit up. Okay, come back. So X is equals to, I show in a different color. So start from positive X axis. Move anti-clockwise till line. So start from here and stop is the first answer. Start from here and stop second answer. So first answer, I can say that first answer is only 45. 
Second answer from here till here. Actually, let, let me tell you. Actually, it is a first straight line is 180 degree. All of you know 180. But as I move forward some angle, 45, so 180 and 45 add. So that is why 180. When I move forward, add. Okay. So 180 plus 45. So I have two answers. 45 and 2 to 5. Let's talk this question. Again, start from where? Start from positive x-axis. So first answer is this. Second answer is this. Start from positive x-axis and stop till line. So first answer is coming 45. Second starting from here and stop. And you know full is 180 degree, but the sum part I don't want. So it means 180 minus. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you again. So look at here back. So <clears throat> look, I show you green color. So from here, blue color. So this to this is custom. So let me make it. So 180 minus 45. So answers are 45 degree and put a small degree sign on. So 135. So third question, how to write this one? So X is equals to start from positive X axis and stop till line. So common sense, 180 minus 30 because this angle I don't want. So I'll show in red color. This is my first answer. Okay, so I'm writing directly. So 180 minus 30. What is second angle? Start from here and stop this line. And you know, 180 done already. But I move forward, so 180 plus 30. So I think plan is so simple. So 180 plus 30. So answers are coming 150 and 210. Last question. Now again, same story. So first answer, we took it, check it here. Start from positive x-axis and till line. And what's full is 180, but this 60 I don't want. So 180 minus 60. And next one I'm going to discuss with you. So start from this and reach this one. So actually, how to deal it? I repeat, start from here and stop this one. Full circle is 360, but this part I don't want. So 360 minus 60. So I think we are very clear. So 360 minus 60. And my answers are coming 120 and 300. Okay, this is over. I think all of understanding. Still, if you have any doubt, open your mic, students. I'm sure you got the idea. Uh, sir, I have a doubt. Where? In the last two, in, when you drew the quadrants, why did you invert them in the opposite direction? Say again, repeat. In the last two, when you drew the quadrants, what you made it opposite. It has a negative sign. My son, you did not see. I think you joined very late, maybe. This negative sign is there. And let me ask you, cause is positive where? You say, sir, cause is positive in first and fourth quadrant. Agreed or not? So, but here he's negative cause. So now cause is negative. Negative is here and here. I think you got my point. Uh, yes, sir. Clear. So all are clear. So first of all, take a screenshot. And then I will go for next stage of the questions, inshallah. First of all, please take a screenshot. Please. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This question with me, okay. Uh, 15 sine square equal to 13 plus cos x. So, we have to solve for uh, angle x. Okay. What is method to do it? Problem. Can I start directly? No. Problem here. Cause here, sine. They don't match. We need one trigmetric ratio. One trigmetric function in a question. So this sine square, can, can I convert its cause? No. Some students have a wrong idea. They think one minus cause is, so, is also true. No, it's not true. It's true for only power two. So cause square is equals to one minus sine square. Is this valid? This valid. But with power one, it is not valid. So it means this I can't change. But I can change sine square. Why? Because sine square value, you know it. It is a one minus cause square x. So this value will go in the place of here. So let's start. I'm writing the value one minus cause 
square x equals to 13 plus cos x. So I'm sure up till now you're not getting any, any trouble. Okay. So now 15 times to 1 and 15 times to cos square. So it turned to be 15 minus 15 cos square x equals to 13 plus cos x. Rearrange, I bring all values around because it has a negative sign, that is why. To make it positive, I brought right inside. Okay, and plus cos already present, and this 15 will go here, out of 13, 15 subtract, like this. And you know that after this, what is next step? So this becomes negative two. Okay, so, so I'm writing here, negative two equal to zero there or here, this end or this end, no issue. Up till now, I'm sure all of you understanding the whole story. Okay, now come back, how to continue? Here we have a two ways, one way direct and one indirect. What is, what is indirect way? Let, say let cos x is equals to k, okay? Then what happens? This is a k, I can copy plus k minus two equals to zero. But this is a cos square, it becomes k square. Okay, now I factorize or quadratic formula. But I factorize, if it was a 30 and 30, Six fives are 30, you know very well. Positive six minus will give you an k here and k here. So it means one k, I get it. If I multiply them, I got a negative 30k squared. So match. So I'm doing on the top. 15k squared uh, plus 6k, or I can write here minus 5k plus 6k, and minus 2 is equal to 0. So 5k common. I got 3k and minus 1. And 2 common, I got 3k minus 1. So better to avoid quadratic formula because the time consuming is a time saving. And we he needs a working also. That is why this is better. I got two answers. One answer is coming up till now, you know, nothing trigonometry. Up till now, only one step. I'll mostly algebra. Now I'll make a break in the middle. So one, one time this equal to zero, I got k value is equal to what? Is equals to what? Is equals to one by three. And this equal to zero, I got k is equal to what? Minus two by three. Okay, now one by one, this value will go here. So it turned to be cos x is equals to one by three. And this value could copy here. Here shouldn't be two by five. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. And now I'm writing here cos x is equals to minus two by five. All right. As usual, now I read the same parts. I make a cross, make a cross. Cos is positive, and you know positive in a first and fourth. Cos is negative, so second and third. And now I take alpha. Alpha is equal to cos inverse one by three. And same alpha is equal to cos inverse but without negative sign. So I'm getting what alpha value and what alpha value. So let me type for the 70.5. You said 70.5 first answer. Okay. And now I'll write it here. 70.5 is here. 66.4. Okay. What is the second one? 60? 6.4. 66.4, thank you very much. So I'm writing 66.4 here and 66.4 here. I think up till now, all getting. Now write the right final answer. So starting from positive x axis till nine first answer and the second answer. So I think it's very, very clear. So first answer is direct answer. And second is, I am writing here, first answer is 70.5. And second is a 360 minus, so 360 minus 70.5, it is coming to 89.5. Yeah. Good. And let's, the, what about the other part? You see a red color. Okay, this is from X axis till line. So it's so simple, 180 minus, and second angle, this is 180 plus. So I have two answers and I'm going to write direct answers. 
So 180 minus and 180 plus. So 180 minus 66.4 is giving me 113.6. Yeah. And second is a plus. It is giving 246.4. So Mabrook, I am sure you're understanding. I'll please take a picture and I'll, then I'll go for the next step, inshallah. But so sir, it will not... It will not always be th uh, three terms factorizing, right? Like so, we no, sometimes you can see that sometimes possibly you have to go for quadratic formula even because sometimes factors are not possible. Okay, this is another question I'm going to solve. Okay, just for co more concept. Bismillah rahman rahim In this also we have a same story. Solution start from here. So three times two, one minus cos square is replacing the value of sine square. Three minus three and minus three cos square. I will do this question in, in different way. So you can understand different ideas. So um, I, I arrange arrangement, you know, three cos square go right, become positive. Eight goes go right and become positive. And this minus four become plus four on the other side. I will not say let, I will not say let cause x is equal to k. No, no, no. I will do without it. It is allowed. It is allowed. What I can do it, 3, 4 is a 12. 3, 4 is a 12. And 6 to a 12, matching. So I can do direct factorization. It is allowed. So 6 to the 6 to the You know, you will deal like x, this as a variable 1x. This is a x square. That is why it is very, very clear. From here, what is common? It is a common is a three cos x common from here. And I can get here cos x single and plus two. And from here, two common, so I got a cos x plus two. So without assuming k. So this is another way and an easy way, not hard at all. So my job is to teach you different, different techniques. First part equal to zero, cos x plus two equal to zero, one idea, and three cos x plus two equal to zero, second idea. Here I got cos x is equal to negative two. Here I got cos x is equal to minus two by three. Stop here, because I want to tell you now here one new thing. Here cos x is equal to minus two by three, but here cos x is equal to negative two. Okay. Here, right, no real solution or no solution simply. You ask, why not, sir? Let me introduce you sine and cause, either sine or cause. The highest value is plus one and the lowest value is minus one. So answers stay in this range. But above, there's no solution, no solution. And below minus one, no solution. So I'm saying that your value should be what here? It should be uh, the value of the cos x should be, sine and cos should be. So values must be less than one and equal and bigger than one and minus one. So if you have these values, okay. Above, minus, uh, above plus one and below minus one, no possibility there. So math error, if, even you check it, please. If you take a cos inverse of uh, two, you get a math error. You will not get any answer. So that is why this value in the bracket, if the value is, is in the middle of this range, you get answer. If above or below, you will not get answer. I hope so. You got idea, last part, and then inshallah, over. What is this one? This, you know it. We have done it. Cause negative, say alpha is equal to cause inverse, two by three. Okay, and cause negative where? Cause is positive first and fourth, but he talk about negative. So negative is second and third. And now I'll take it what answer and cause and 48.2. 48. 48. 48. Yeah. 48.2. Thank you very much. 48.2. So I'm writing 48.2 here. And 48, 48.2. Sorry, sorry. 48.2. Not 42.2. Okay. So 48.2. And 48.2. So my first answer of X. So starting from positive X is still this one. So 180 minus that. So, and second is 180 plus. So yes, it's what one, 
And second one, please. Two twenty-eight point two. Two twenty-eight point two. Thank you very much. Yes. And you got a very new lesson, new concept. If value of cost becoming above one and below one, below minus one, make sure no answer is there. Your value should be in the middle of that. I repeat my words. Cause and sign must be in the middle of one and minus one. So, so this is what happened.